Well, uh, a lot of stories in the news, uh, and uh, our man on location. Well, uh, you we, know have, him, you love we him. haven't heard from Roger Lewis in a while. He's at Mount Rushmore. Is that he, correct? He is. Right? Uh, I didn't know it was in the news today. Uh, Roger Lewis, our man on the streets, uh, covering the story uh, like no one else can, frankly. Roger, welcome back to the show. Good morning, Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Roger Lewis reporting live this morning from Mount Rushmore here in the Black Hills. What, when, uh, <laughs> Mount Rushmore? What, Good morning. What are you doing there, Rog? Good morning. <laughs> Apparently there's been another fence-jumping incident here at the National Monument. Oh, uh, <laughs> what <laughs> happened? Mm-hmm. 43-year-old Robert Walters has jumped the security fence here at Mount Rushmore. Apparently, he was trying to give Teddy a tongue kiss. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't know what that means, Rick and Bubba. The details are shady at best. Authorities are now confirming this was a copycat Goldilocks and the Three Bears incident. As you know, recently, Omar Gonzalez jumped the fence at the White House and walked through the front door before being apprehended. I'm sure you're aware. Yes, yes, yes we did. Yes. Yes. And good morning. Up. Uh, Apparently, good morning, this is fascinating, <laughs> that incident was also a copycat incident. Really? Oh, from what? Mm-hmm. Apparently, March of this year, the previous fence jumper at the White House, a gentleman by the name of Randy, <laughs> he is a former International House of Pancakes employee. He was recently fired uh, for getting a little too rooty tooty with his fresh and fruity, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, when asked uh-huh. for comment on this incident, uh, Hillary Clinton said that, and uh, I'm quoting here, Rick and Bubba, someone jumped the fence in my husband's pants 15 years ago, and he got impeached. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Roger Lewis! Uh, I think yeah. Hillary needs to see the movie Frozen and let it go. <laughs> let it go! Incidentally, let it go. Incidentally, <laughs> this report is being brought to you by ADT Home Security Systems <laughs> and by the folks at Olive Garden, where for a limited time they're offering a when you break in here, your family pasta special. <laughs> okay, Roger. Now, the whole idea of fence jumping has put everyone on edge. Oh, I'm yeah. sure your listeners have felt it. Oh, yes. No, no question. <laughs> edge. Mm-hmm. For instance, James Fordham Mason Fitzgerald Pennington III of the Greenwich, Connecticut, Gated Community Homeowners Association <laughs> has said this incident is so serious. They are raising membership dues. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Isn't that like an assessment? Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Country clubs across affluent America are also rock to the core. Mm. They're concerned the riffraff won't be kept off the fairways. And that's not code, Rick and Bubba. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about actual poor people delaying the pace of play on the members-only golf courses. <laughs> <laughs> They've asked President Obama to keep a watchful eye. <laughs> well, he's got to do it. Yeah, he's got to yeah. I'm sure you can imagine the Secret Service is rather embarrassed about the whole incident. They are hard at work coming up with additional security solutions. Oh, really? Oh. Mm-hmm. President Obama has applauded their work and then saluted them with a pumpkin-flavored coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Law enforcement has called in the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodall as an advisor. No, oh, really? Oh. Mm-hmm. He suggested hiring uh, former Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Wright. <laughs> oh, oh, Roger, Roger Lewis. Roger Lewis. Mm-hmm. He can chase down anyone. We know he's not going to back down from a fight. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> Roger <laughs> Lewis. Roger and the Secret Service have considered different alternatives to security. They've uh, considered putting in a moat. <laughs> that look good. By the old school. That'll keep them out. However, the plan was scrapped because they couldn't convince Nancy Pelosi to wear the floating dragon costume. <laughs> <laughs> the Twitterverse has been buzzing this morning. Oh. I'm sure you saw oh. it on your feed. Yes. <laughs> Yes, the National mm-hmm. Association of Fence Jumpers has come to the defense of these perpetrators. Really? 
Yes, they've announced a rally later this week. They'll be marching and jumping in solidarity. Now, you might want to grab a pencil. There's some other organizations joining them. Who is it? <laughs> yes, the Subway Turnstile Jumpers Association, <laughs> the Jaywalkers for Freedom Organization, <laughs> the Stop Superfluous Bank Stanchion Collective, <laughs> the People for Ethical Treatment of Fences, yes. and, of course, the Breaking and Entering Ex-Convicts Association. Yeah, yeah you got to have that. Oh, it's as organized. Is organized. Wow. That's right. It is a giant uh, rally. It's set to take place on Sunday. Full day of events. Ironically, it will be barricaded into a four-block area of the National <laughs> Mall. Les <laughs> Miserables is set to perform a French Revolution number. <laughs> the MC will be O.J. Simpson. I don't know why. <laughs> The day will conclude with an emotionally charged, dramatic reenactment of the series finale of the hit TV show, Picket Fences. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's happening. I am reporting live this morning from the Black Hills. Good morning. Oh, thank, you. Hey, good morning. Thank, thank you, Roger Lewis. Roger, Roger. Roger.